And this is often the case when they've had a very severe dose of what we call mange, which is mites and fungal together. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue and I have with me here Eugene's little buddy who is a Rex guinea pig and you can see he has also had mite treatment five days ago but he still has some fungal which is showing little outbreaks on him and this is often the case when they've had a very severe dose of what we call mange which is mites and mange to mites and fungal together now they've been treated with uh, ivermectin which we use as a parasite um, medication you can of course use revolution for puppies and kittens as well when we talk about using ivermectin there's a number of ways that you can use this and that includes topically as well as orally or what the vets will do is give as an injectable so there's three different ways that you can use ivermectin but um, here at the shelter, we use it topically more so than orally. There are some instances we use orally. Anyway, I'll refer you to a video that we have specifically on medications and you can, you can listen to all of that. So we have now uh, got this little fellow out so that we can go over him again, give him a second bath treatment and make him feel a little bit more on his journey to health. So he's also got some furry little bits of velvet down here coming through which is great and his tummy if we look under there is getting this stream of velvet he didn't have this before so his fur is returning which is fantastic and what we need to do is follow that up with another antifungal wash and we're just going to lift some of the scabs that are now moving away from the body okay nice warm comfortable water and i'm just going to lightly get his fur damp, which he's quite used to this now, which is good. I'm just going to wet him all the way down. Oh, he wanted to hop out. Sorry, little guy. I don't want to be splashed. Can I can't see it's okay. It's all right. 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 We've got, I'm just twirling around for little hard bits because when there are little hard bits that, you know, even in this fungly area here, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil onto that simply to soften the loose skin that's there. It doesn't treat the fungal, even though in this case, coconut actually has some antifungal properties, but um, what we're doing, we're not treating or using it for that purpose. We're using it to soften, soften what's actually there, which is great. It's a great, great product, but we just want that to lift a bit more easily. First, just softening. That's all. Just softening. Yeah. So feel up on his face. Yeah. The lumps are gone, which is good. Everything's really on track for good healing. He's not as bad as, as his buddy, and uh, that's okay. We will um, treat them both together. They're both housed together, so they've both gone through. A pretty bad time, but they are feeling so much better, which is good. There we go. I'm just going to use this now just to lift these little bits off the coat so it's nice and smooth. It's really important that you don't rip or pull any of that off, but as it starts to lift and you soften it, you can literally. Just take it straight out of the coat like this. Can you see it here on my finger? See how it's coming away? It feels like grains of sand. And in some of the other videos, you'll have seen me bathing guinea pigs where it's literally like my hands are covered in covered in this crusty crustiness. We call them little crusties. There we go. I believe it's actually created from the sarcoptic mange mite that, that they work in and around the hair follicle and their excrement, if you like, is what comes out and up the hair follicle and that's that hard 
material that becomes almost like a second outer skin on the animal. It's really terribly painful and uh, we have to of course get it off very easily if we do it like this. This takes time. You have to be careful and work. Work with the little one. Okay, so now that I've got him in a condition that I want to then treat the coat again, I'm going to put on my antifungal, which is Melisev. It's a brilliant product. It really is very good. Some people use anti-dandruff shampoos. Um, at the end of the day, we're just um, eradicating fungal spores that are in and around the coat. One of the, the ways that you can get this wrong is through blow drying because when you blow dry or hair dry guinea pigs after a treatment like this, it actually makes the product stop working or not work as effectively. So you really need to let this product dry on the, the, um, the fur by holding guinea pigs, keeping them warm, putting a warmth pad in an area where they can sit and eat and just dry off naturally but the product can work fully and properly. Let's just take a closer look at these little ears. These little um, guinea pigs have been treated, as I've mentioned, five days ago. So they're well on the way to healing now, which is great. And um, and it's really, really sad to have animals come in this way. If you were not watching the first part of this video, his owner reached out for help, having had um, help from the vets with directions to use Revolution. And uh, then she was using mite treatment from the pet shop. And of course, that will not stop serious mange mites. You need um, some heavier duty medications to do that. So just incorrect advice and also seeing the vets and not knowing anything about the handling of animals like this and the regularity of washing or how to deal with certain issues like the hard sections of uh, mange that can occur around the face and removing that um, pain relief, you know, all these sorts of aspects that come into it. So it's, I'm really glad that uh, she found us. Which is good, because the boys are feeling better, which is great. There we go. There we go. Feeling much better. So this little fellow is not as bad as his buddy. And uh, they are on the mend, which is good. They're devouring all their food. So they're gaining weight, which is wonderful. And uh, we haven't yet done a bit of a nail clip, so I'm going to do that now. Just to also... Um, his nails are not too bad, actually. And I can also use a... Now, when you do have a very serious mange case, like Eugene, uh, this fellow's buddy, recurrences are very likely because the animal's immune system is down. So you need to be really more than aware of cage cleaning, housing, keeping them warm and fed well so that, um, you know, they're not at risk. So these little guys struggle enough in the wrong situations, but uh, when we're working with them to get them right, you know, it's, it's tricky. So I'm gonna wipe that through here, making sure we're lifting everything out of the coat that needs to come out that's great um, it's right on application time again for seymour ivermectin we typically do that at seven days but uh, in this case we'll probably and it's late at night now so i tend to usually do videos at this time but well i'll apply it again tonight which is fine and they'll also have a third treatment which is sometimes necessary um, down the track before having a little break, but they're doing really, really well. Really pleased with how they're doing. The fur is coming back really well. Yeah, so okay. Do you like feeling better? I'm sure you do. It's 
Yeah, they came in very, very, very sad. There we go. And if you are watching this, we do have health checks that we have where you can bring your piggies in and we groom them and we do all sorts of things with them. So check that out on our Facebook page or on the website. Um, and if not, we do a lot of recording for videos like this so that um, we can help you. You can always reach out to us through social media and um, yeah, it's, it's, um, I'm glad that we're starting to improve the way that these small animals live and exist. It's not fair like this. Look how nice now these areas are where we saw a little bit of fungal reappearing. Well, it's all completely gone. So it looks like natural clean skin. We can also, if we were to notice anything in there whatsoever, we can just take the, um, the Malacid, which is a dilute solution, dilute solution, and we can literally pop it onto that area just so it's a little bit more intensive. We can also apply something like Dactarin to the area, which uh, is a cream. And while we do use, actually I might even put some Dactarin on now so I can show you um, the benefit of the Dactarin in this area because we know there's like, a, see these little old cuts that have healed from a week ago. So there's still going to be a little bit of skin flaking off, which makes them very prone to fungal, all these little cuts and so on. We can put just some Dactarin, um, which is a foot cream, which treats tinea, and tinea is just like what we call fungal. So we can apply that to the area, but you must make sure that you rub that in because we don't want a guinea pig ingesting that. It's not healthy. So you need to just rub that in so that you can't see it any longer. Oh, direct onto that area and that will then help. It's a little bit moist as well. Give them another little area to spot things in. Let's pop it all in there. Like so. See? There we go. Right in there. There we go. These little boys, they're feeling so much better and it won't be too long before they'll be back with a full coat and uh, having gained a whole lot more weight. It's just really, um, you know, as much as we can talk about vets not having the right information in terms of their care and how what's actually involved in terms of the repair and care, checking on them, the bathing, the changes to the cage and what, what's actually brought this about in the first place, the other problem is, you know, how do you ensure that when you get them back, you're going to keep them well, but that during the time that they were getting that well, um, you know, keep reaching out for help, keep finding information on what to do because you can't put them right so quickly, so easily. So this is five days. We'll update you again soon. And uh, these little guys, they deserve some nice treats. Okay, that's it from me. Take care. Bye for now.